Mike Craig, how you doing, Mike? Good. Am I hosting the show? That's great. I don't know. You, you got the versatility? Or can you do yeah, it? Can you handle I can, it? I can. I've been around it for a while. So, no, it's great to be here. And yeah. uh, thanks for being on campus with us, Brandon. And um, it's a great day for St. John's. Always a pleasure. I love doing the Red Storm Report. I've done it for years. It's awesome. I think it's great for the fans. Pull back the curtain, get a sense of what's going on here. And, and let's pull back the curtain. We, we've talked about this a little bit here, but I, I do think it's, it's worth tracing back to Maybe not the process before you got Mike Anderson, the other candidates, but when you, when you decided, when, when you said that this is our guy, what was the main selling point? We all know he's won. What was the real thing that sold you on Mike? We needed somebody that's done it before. And uh, we have a lot of unique challenges here and somebody that's built a program. And in the case of Coach Anderson and others we looked at, that was the number one criteria is I knew we needed to start building that infrastructure, that culture, that continuity um, that's been missing here. And, and so that's why when I first met Coach Anderson and started doing my research, it was check, 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 done. Yeah. And thankfully he could see my vision for what we wanted to build here. And, and I, I see loud and clear his vision and, and what he's already done at other places and, and will do here and already doing here. And so it was, a, it was, it was an amazing quick process, um, but, um, but it's going to have a long, long-term effect. It's been elusive to have multiple seasons where there's continuity, and that's got to be the biggest thing, but that's tough to get. Well, it's tough, especially in college basketball today, honestly, across the country. I mean, that's why you see the programs that continually win, um, you know, hats off to them and full credit. I mean, that is tough to do. And in the one and done era, the talent, the transferring, the fifth year graduate graduates. Tra I mean, there is yes. just, there is nothing, free agency. It, it, really? It, in essence, it <laughs> is. But we needed that underpinning of a stability, like I said, um, to be able to build towards that day, and the, and that'll that will come. But it starts with having, you know, in this case, that right now we have a good sophomore group, mm -hmm. you know, a, a great freshman in Julian that'll grow, and then you, using that, you know, and some of the kids that transferred in, and they'll continue to build and grow. And then we had two great leaders in in Mustafa and LJ to build around this year. Yep. yep. And um, but it's totally different. I mean, like you said, from one year to the next, and so that'll always be a story. I think it's, but it's a matter of how do you always have those parts to plug in, mm -hmm. and and I know Coach Anderson knows how to do that. Oh, no He's done that, and and that that's coming. And it's you know the next year with the recruiting class that's coming, you'll continue continue to see it build. I can tell. I've been coming to this building forever, doing the shows and doing the games. Where you know I walk in, I immediately notice change. You know whether it's you know something splashed on a wall or uh, a modification to the rafters. There's been. Some real changes here that, number one, I think look cool. They pop. They're fresh. What was behind that, and what, what else can we expect here on campus and at the Garden? Well, you know, in this modern era, having branding is an important part of it and being able to tell the story of St. John's Athletics. And that's really what we've been able to do. And, and it started with a reinvestment by the university of funding and that we were able to capitalize on this past year. But it really also means going forward, we've got to be able to attract investors being donors um, into our athletic department and what we're trying to do here. Mm -hmm. You know, athletics becomes a great um, marketing platform for an entire university in that we capture an audience that we are responsible for telling the story. And as you said, people love to win, people love to make money. Well, it all goes hand in hand, but it, most importantly is we represent St. John's as a university. Mm -hmm. And that, its mission and educating young people is something we all are proud of. And so for us to be able to tell that story of the success, and so sharpening up what it looks like around here, freshening it up in your words, was vitally important, that we had to show that there's a new level of care to it. And I think our student athletes across the board have responded, our fans have responded, um, our coaches, and so we'll just continue to do that. You ask what's next. You know, we've been undergoing a, a facilities master planning uh, exercise over the last year. We're at the stage right now where it's in our administration and trustees level. And then that'll start becoming unveiled over what's to, what's to come in bettering all of our programs. We are in a hyper competitive situation. That's what college sports are. And so if you're not getting better, you're falling further behind. 
And, and that's the reality of what's taken place here. And now it's our job to get us back to higher speed to be able to catch up, but also pass others. And we all want to win, like you said. And so you look around the landscape, there is massive investment in athletics across the board. That's awesome. And we're a part of that. We live in a great market that cares about sports. Mm -hmm. That's, I think, the most important thing. No so winning, losing, it's in the conversation. Mm -hmm. You know, St. John's is a part of that conversation in the greatest city in the world. Mm -hmm. And, and so we have that as our opportunity to get to be a part of that. That's not like anywhere else. That's special. And that's what a part of the appeal of coming to, to school here, yep. representing and playing St. John's, that's a big deal. And you're in the case of men's basketball in Madison Square Garden and Karnasek Arena, those are special places. When we take a new job, we have preconceived notions of what the new job will entail, especially if we spent a long time at one spot and you were at Duke for a long time. You know the ACC like the back of your hand. Um, you've been in the, in the Big East now uh, long enough to have, to have a, set, a, a good sense of what it's all about. What has surprised you about the Big East, either off the court, on the court, anything? What, what jumps out in, in a positive or negative way? Yeah, you know, I, actually I would say everything is positive. You know, the, the thing I love about the Big East is that right now we're 10 fairly like-minded schools that bonded together and went through some situations where football took over the landscape of college athletics to a great degree and bonded together over a sport of men's basketball and that and embracing that history. And to me, it's actually one of our great advantages that I actually say what surprised me, coming from a power five school with football as important, but basketball number one, um, now at a school where men's basketball is the most important sport and our greatest opportunity. That, that is a different mindset than when you have to be competitive in football and basketball. And so all of our schools share that same bond. It's something Coach Anderson and I have talked a lot about because he was that same experience coming from Power Five schools where football is uber important. And so I think that's the difference. And, and both, by the way, we love it. And we have nine other schools that also love that, and that's their focus too. I think that's to me, this, um, I'm surprised by how much I've, I've loved that um, in coming here. I'm not surprised by this, but is how much has been invested into all the athletic departments in this conference. And you're seeing those successes in volleyball and, and soccer. Georgetown won a national championship this year. We won a Big East championship in volleyball. You have to invest in the student athletes in every sport. And if you don't, you're not going to be competitive. And, and that's, you know, we're all in this, we're all competitive by nature. And, that, and I love that. And so I'm not surprised by that. But, but again, you know, how do we make our, tell our story the best? And then how do we come, become the best? And that's our goal here. You know, Mike, one thing I find uh, very impressive about you is that you're very transparent on social media. Yeah. St. John's fans, they know where to find you. You respond back to them. I, I think it's a great look for the university. I think it's a great look from a branding and imaging point of view. It seems like you really enjoy that. I do. I love what I do. I mean, and so I'm happy and, and um, love talking college basketball, college sports. You know, I, I love college, everything about it. Mm -hmm. And so all of our sports, all of our student athletes, some 330 that we have here. And so my opportunity and platform given to me and my position to be able to celebrate their accomplishments whether it's in the classroom or on the playing field. I, I love that. And so for our fans, you know, I, I think I can empathize, if that's the right word, that I'm a fan of college sports too and, and, and of sports. And so I try to put myself in their shoes as well. And, and so if it's um, shedding some light on what's going on here or, or whatever, and we have a lot to be proud of. And so I'm happy to share that. Not everybody's on social media, but a lot of people do watch the Red Storm Report who might not be on social media. So for those people who want uh, a concise message from the leader of this entire athletic department and the basketball program, what do you say to them right now they're watching? What do you say? The most important thing is, is believe in the care we're giving our student athletes and be proud of this university. This, this university has an amazing mission and has been successful at that mission and we're trending on the up. If you look across our business school, our law school, across the board, mm -hmm. this school is up and, and we're at a great, unbelievable place to live in the world. And so sharing that, that message and, um, and then enjoying it. 
you know, be supportive. I, I think the college atmosphere is something that we can continue to get better and that we all love St. John's, we all love our, our team, and how can I be there, win or lose? We, you know, they are tough losses, you mentioned, or they're great wins, and we're all passionate about that. But at the end of the day, our heart is with St. John's. Yeah. And to me, that's the biggest thing, that we just need to continue to keep growing that and, and be involved. And, and by being involved, then you're helping these kids grow, hopefully win, and, and have a great degree from an amazing university. There he is, the AD. Good having you back on the show, Mike. Thank you, Bryn. Appreciate Good to see it. you. Mike Craig, we'll get a quick timeout. More of the Red Storm Report in a moment right here on MSG.